Hi all, so this is going to be another lesson uh, of part of the beginners course. So we're going to cover stamen today. So let's, without further ado, let's just crack on. So we have 13 points and this is a classic uh, one no trump opener. We have a 4-4-3-2 shape and 12 to 14 points. So we should definitely open this one no trump. Uh, one no trump, 13 points. Now, East, what are we going to bid with this hand? So without being able to see the West hand, what I've taught you so far is that between 13 and sort of 17, 18 points, uh, we should just bid game. Okay, so we should just bid three no trumps in this case. We've got a flat hand, so there's no reason really not to, not to bid three no trumps. Okay. But the problem is, is this a good contract? That is the question. And clearly, it's not a good contract. Uh, we're completely open in the club suit. And we are likely to go off in three no trumps. Whereas, four hearts is a much better contract. We have a four four heart fit. And after two clubs have been won by the defence, we can rough in. So clearly we want to get in four hearts. So the question is, how do we get in four hearts uh, when partner opens a no trump when we've got this hand? And the answer to that is a convention known as Stamen. It's named after the American uh, bridge player, Sam Stamen. So it's a conventional bid. And uh, now conventional in bridge terms, it's intended to convey a particular meaning according, according to an agreed convention. So in other words, it's something that we have agreed between us, okay, in our partnership that we have agreed, okay, and the opposition are, can know this information. So they know that we play statement. It's not a secret, okay, because we're playing bridge. It's not a game of poker. We have to tell them what we are playing. We have to tell them what our bids mean. So in this case, um, the convention, uh, the conventional bid is two club, and this kind of triggers the 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 statement uh, convention. So it goes one no trump, and our partner bids two clubs. So it's a forcing bid because you expect to get an answer. All right, so you have to respond. So two clubs is kind of like a question. So you have to respond with an answer. All right. So let's have a look at, uh, oh, it looks like I've got my uh, slides the wrong way around. So the two clubs is what's known as a relay bid also. Okay. Because you're expecting an answer to further describe their hand. So we all know that one no trump is a balanced hand containing 12 to 14 points, but there's different ways you can make up that 12 to 14 high card points. So two clubs says, um, I have a four card major and we only use it when partner opens a no trump, opens two no trumps, which you haven't covered yet, um, are also over calls with a one no trump bid again, which we haven't covered yet, which we will do um, in the coming weeks. So again, we have no secrets from the opposition. Our partner tells the opp opposition the meaning of our bids. So, if I bid two clubs, my partner, who's opened the one no trump, tells the opposition that the two club bid is statement. So what we do is we just announce. So certain bids, we make announcements. So it goes one no trump, two clubs, and the person who bids one no trump, so the person who sat opposite the two club bid, announces to the opposition that that two club bid means statement. So we just say statement. It's a very common um convention it's the most common most popular convention most important convention in bridge so one no trump so that means 12 to 14 so that's your partner thinking ah one no trump means 12 to 14 two club bid and they're thinking aha that means statement and you announce that to the opposition so statement is only used when partner opens a no trump so let's just focus on the opening one no trump because we haven't covered the two other uses yet now, opener's responses to statement are two hearts, which says, I have four hearts. All right, so this is the response to two club. It's going to no trump, two clubs by partner, and now I'm going to bid two hearts. This says I've got four hearts. 
you may have four spades as well. So you're not denying that you've got a four card spade suit, okay? But you're showing you've got four hearts. Two spades says, I have four spades. But this time, the important thing here is, it says, I do not have four hearts. So let's say, for example, you have ace, king, queen, jack of spades and two, three, four, five of hearts. You may be thinking, oh, I'm going to bid two spades. I don't really want to bid two hearts because my heart suit is really poor. Okay, but you should bid two hearts and not two spades. So when you bid two spades, you are denying holding four hearts in your hand. And the two diamond bid says, sorry, I do not have four hearts and I do not have four spades either. And that's it. It's a simple denial. It says nothing about diamonds. It doesn't say how many diamonds you've got. You could have two. You could have five. All right. And you could have somewhere in between three and four, obviously. OK, but it, all it says is I do not have a four card heart suit and I do not have a four card spade suit. So to your statement, you must be able to cope with all three of the answers. You've got to be able to cope with when partner bids two hearts, two spades or two diamonds. Now, the question is, how many high card points do you need to bid statements? I get this question all the time. So you need 13 points plus if you want to bid a game. So, for example, we have this kind of hand here. Six, uh, 12, 14 count. We've got a four card spade suit and we want to be in game, but we're not sure whether we want to be in three no trumps or four spades, for example. Partner thinks about it. Okay, one no trump. So they've added up the points. They've got 12 to 14 points. Okay, and this is your hand. So now you're going to bid two clubs. Now they know, aha, they're asking me about four card majors. So I need to look at my hand and I give the answer two hearts. Okay. So they've now shown 12 to 14 high card points and four hearts. They may have four spades. We don't know yet. This hand now goes straight to three no trumps. So they bid game. This hand now shows they have enough points for game because they bid it. And also they now have four spades. Now this is the difficult bit that beginners find tricky to understand about this bid. Now the reason why this shows four spades is because you bid two clubs. Now, if you didn't have a four card spade suit, why on earth would you bid two clubs? That's the question. Why on earth would you bid two clubs? You would just go one no trump and then you'd go straight to three no trumps. You wouldn't inquire and bid two clubs. There'd be no point. So the whole point of bidding two clubs is you're looking for a 4-4 four, four major fit. So you're only doing that because you've got four spades. So this hand here, if they do have four hearts and four spades, they can now pull the three no trumps and they could bid four spades if they want to. Or if they don't have four spades, they can simply leave it in three no trumps. And that should be a perfectly good contract because you're saying you've got the points for it. You've got 14 points. You know there's 12 here. You've got 26 between the two hands. You've got enough points for game. Okay. So... This time we got, say, 11 to 12 points. So let's kind of look at the responses. So I've just slightly changed the hand. I've knocked off the king of diamonds. I've given you 11 points now. Partner again opens one no trumps. You bid two clubs and they respond two hearts. Now this time I can't bid three no trumps because I've only got 11, 12 points. I've got 11 points in this case. But I'm actually still interested in game. If partner's got a 14 count, Opposite my 11, we've got 25. So we'll have enough points for game. So I'm now going to bid two spades this time. Now, if I by bidding two spades, it shows a four-card spade suit and invitational values. That's the important thing. So it shows four spades and invitational values. So this bid shows four spades, invitational values. So... This hand can now decide what it wants to do. The person who opened one no trump has got, got all the information. They know that partner's got a four card spade suit and potentially enough points to go for game. Now, sometimes you can still use statement even if you have zero points. 
but only if you can cope with all three answers. So in other words, if you can cope with two diamonds, two hearts, or two spades. So let's have a look at this. So two hearts, two spades, two diamonds. All right. So here we've only got a five count. Now, if partner opens one no trump, and I bid two clubs of this hand, we're going to look at all the responses that the person who opens one no trump. So if they bid two hearts, we're very happy. We've got four hearts. And if partner's got four hearts, which they're showing they have, we've now got an eight card fit. And surely that is better than playing in one no trump where we've got a singleton diamond and also we've got four rubbishy clubs. Okay. so But more importantly, we've got a singleton diamond. So here we would just pass. Likewise, we've got four spades in this situation. We can cope with two spades and we'd just pass. The trouble is, if partner bids two diamonds, we don't know where to go next. We don't want to play in two diamonds because we've only got one diamond. So we're in a worse contract than one no trump. The other thing is, partner does not have a four card major. So now if we bid two hearts or two spades, we're at best playing in a four three fit and at worst playing in a four two fit where the opposition could actually have more hearts or more spades than us. So if partners to bid two, two diamonds now, we'd be on a complete guess whether to bid two hearts or two spades, you know, because we know partner will will have a free card major somewhere, but we're, we've no idea where it is. So we can't cope with two diamond response either. So in this situation, we cannot cope with all three responses. Instead of bidding two clubs on this hand, we just simply have to pass and hope we partner can do the best job in one no trump. Let's have a look at this hand then. So it's slightly different. I've now taken off a club and given this hand a spade. We've got the same amount of points. Now, can we cope with anything that partner says? Clearly two hearts, we can cope with that. We'll just pass. We're playing on 4-4 four, four heart fit. Partner bids two spades. We'd pass. We'd play in a 5-4 spade fit. What about two diamonds? Again, we've got a similar problem, but this time it's slightly different. Okay. Partner bids two diamonds. Again, we can't really, we're not happy about playing in two diamonds, but we can cope with this bid now. We can cope with it. That's the whole point. Can you cope with the three bids that partner bids? We can bid two spades and play in two spades. So by bidding stamen, we're giving a, a chance to play in hopefully a 4-4 four, four heart fit or a, hopefully a 5-4 spade fit. So if partner doesn't bid two hearts, okay, and they bid two diamonds to show a denial of a four card major, we end up bidding two spades and at least playing a five two spade fit, which will often be better than playing a one no trump with a singleton diamond. So we're hoping that we can find a four four or a five four fit in the majors. But if we don't, we can fall back on playing in a five two spade fit. So we can cope with all three answers. So in this situation, with only a five count, we can still bid stamen and bid two clubs. In fact, if we had zero points, so if we had that king of hearts as a two of hearts and that queen of spades as a four of spades, we could still use stamen. Okay, this hand then. So can we cope with all three answers? Uh, partner bids two hearts. So it goes one no trump, two clubs, and they bid two hearts. Clearly we can cope with that. That's perfect. We're in a four, four fit. If they bid two spades, again, we'll just pass. We're in a 4-4 four, four fit. This time, if they bid two diamonds, that's not so bad. At least we're in a 5-2 fit. We know partner must have two diamonds. So again, at the very least, we're in a 5-2 fit. And we're not playing one no trump where it could be wide open in clubs. So we will just pass two diamonds this time and playing a 5-2 fit. A lot of the time, partner's going to have a three card or even a four card diamond suit here. Because if they don't have a four card major, then at most they can have three spades, three hearts. Occasionally they'll have five clubs and only two diamonds. That would be the worst case scenario where we end up playing in two diamonds. But here, the very worst, we're going to play in a 5-2 fit. So again, we can cope with all three answers. So we can use stamen in this particular example. Let's have another look at another hand. So here we've got a 14 count. Again, we can use stamen here. Now, if partner bids two hearts, we're just going to bid four hearts. 
the partner bids two spades, we're just going to bid four spades. And if partner bids two diamonds, this time we're going to jump to three hearts to show we have a five card heart suit. All right, so we're going to jump to three hearts. And this is now a forcing bid. Partner now knows that we've got five hearts and four spades because we've used stamen. Um, we can actually use transfers on this hand as well. All right, so that'll be in another lesson. So if you have a look at the transfer lesson, then uh, when I get around to recording it, um, then you can actually use transfers on this as well. But you can use stamen on this hand as well. So two clubs, um, partner bids say two diamonds, and now we jump to three hearts, and now partner decides what to do. They can either bid four hearts, um, they can bid three no trumps, but the point is now this three heart bid is now forcing, and we've shown that we've got a five card heart suit. We've also shown that we've got a four card spade suit, because if we didn't have a four card spade suit, what we would do is we would just transfer. Again, look at the lesson on transfers about that. All right, so let's have a look at this last hand um, here, this last example here. We've got a long club suit. Can you cope with two hearts? It's gone one no trump, two clubs, two hearts. Yes, we're going to bid three clubs. So this is a way to get into a weak club or diamond. Okay, so we could reverse the clubs and diamonds around. If we had the same clubs and diamonds, we would um, just bid two clubs. Okay. And then we'd bid three diamonds or three clubs, depending on what our long minor is. So here we've got a long minor. We want to play in one uh, three clubs rather than playing in one no trump. It's going to generate us more tricks by playing in three clubs as opposed to playing in one no trump. Can you cope with two spades? Yes. Again, we're just going to bid three clubs. And can you cope with two diamonds? Yes, we're just going to bid three clubs. So all the responses were all going to bid three clubs. Now, if they switch the clubs and diamonds around, obviously on this last example, you would just pass two diamonds. All right, so if you do have diamonds, that's the way to play in two diamonds. But because we play stamen, we can't play in two clubs anymore. It always requires an answer when you bid uh, two clubs stamen. So at the very least, we're gonna play in the three clubs, okay? If the opposition don't come into the bidding, they possibly might come into the bidding, okay? When we've only got a four count, and partner's got 12 to 14. They've actually got the majority of the points. So when we bid stamen, they actually might come into the bidding anyway. Okay. But we're trying to get into, if they don't come into the bidding, we're trying to get into a better contract and playing three clubs as opposed to playing in one no trump. Well, we might not win a lot of tricks because our hand is very club centric. Okay. Um, you can use transfers, but... Uh, I'm not going to cover that on this lesson. Okay, so hands which don't use um, statements. So here, uh, you'd probably just pass here, okay, and just take your medicine and just, just play in one no trump. You've only got a six-card suit. You probably don't really want to play at the three level in diamonds, okay, and you can't be guaranteed to uh, partner is going to respond to diamonds. So here you're just going to have to pass and hope maybe partner's got three diamonds and somehow you can get your diamond tricks going in uh, no trumps. Um, there is a minor transfer, but we're not going to use that. Um, here you just got a very flat hand with eight count. So again, you just pass. You've got 20 points between the two hands, so you're just going to pass. So reminders then, so stamen is the two club bid, so it's one no trump, two clubs, and it's only after partner opens a no trump. It shows a four card major, okay? So it guarantees a four card major for now. Responses are two hearts, shows four hearts, may also be four spades. Two spades says I've got four spades, but not four hearts. Two diamonds denies a four card major. So to use statement, you must be able to cope with all three answers. And that, as they say, is that. So hopefully you found that useful. What I'll do now is go over the hands that come with the lesson and uh, we'll go over that.